What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today I want to do another kind of weapon guide for the assault class. Today I'm going to be covering the CR2. I'll give you the stats first and my opinion towards the end of the video. So let's get right into it. You're looking at a weapon that does a max damage of 16 and a minimum damage of 8. Now when it comes to the ion shot attachment, you will lose a bit of damage, not a lot, but a max damage of 14 and a minimum damage of 7. I will get into that a little bit more when I get into attachments here in a second. You're looking at a close range damage to the body of 16 and a close range damage to the head of 30. At range, you're only going to deal 8 to the body and 15 to the head. So this is definitely a close quarters style weapon. Now that damage, how, kind of how you can judge it, is 0 to 15 meters is where you're going to deal your max damage. After 15 meters, you will start to see a decrease in damage or the drop off to start. Now you can deal damage all the way out to 30 meters. 30 meters is where the minimum damage is and that is where it ends. So that is the end of the drop off. So 30 meters on out, you're going to deal the minimum damage. This is definitely a gun in my opinion that shines between about 0 and 20 meters. 25, 30 meters you can still deal some damage, but you're getting so low with that damage, it's not really that useful. Also, another thing that really makes this gun good, in my opinion, is the rate of fire, and that is 900 rounds per minute. You can overheat the weapon quickly, so keep that in mind. Passive cooldown, 0 0.6 heat per second. Passive cooldown delay, 5 seconds. Venting is 1 second. Overheat is 50 shots, or 0 0.02 heat per shot. 50 shots sounds like a lot, but with 900 rounds per minute, you can shoot 50 shots in a blink of an eye. So always keep it in the back of your mind, you can overheat this weapon very quickly and you do not want to do that because you will get punished if you do. Uh, the overheat penalty, of course, is one second. Now when it comes to attachments, like I said, the ion shot is not a bad choice if you would like to use it. I personally do not. You're not going to lose enough damage to really tell, but I'm just not a fan of the ion shot unless it's certain situations. The thing that I only use on this weapon, the only attachment is the stock, which will give you a little bit less recoil. I I kind of feel that's the best attachment. And lastly, we have the thermal sight, which I just do not see the purpose of a thermal sight on a gun that does not have range to it. Now, this gun did some serious damage at range. I could see the reason you would want to use a thermal sight. Now, you might want to use it on a darker style map. If you're going to play close quarters, you want to find people, you know, and it's kind of dark and kind of grim looking. I might could understand that, but personally, I think the stock is the best and the only choice for me. But try all the attachments out and, and see what works the best for you. This is one of my favorite weapons in game. This is a gun that you need to stay close quarters with. You don't want to get, like I said to me personally, I don't want to get further than 20 meters with it. I want to stay up close and personal and be an annoyance to the enemy. Kind of right on the front line or behind enemy lines is the best place, kind of in my opinion, to use this weapon. Make sure that you're bursting the weapon. Don't just hold the trigger down. I burst it. Get a lot of shots out, maybe 10, 15, let off, 10 or 15, reload. You know, I mean, you're not, you're not wanting to just unload the clip in somebody because you're going to overheat very fast and you may miss shots and you may not even defeat that enemy, then you're going to be in big trouble. So try to learn to burst the weapon. Once you have kind of learned to play with the CR2, you can be very, very effective. Now, in my assault class guide where I kind of talked about the best star cards, some of the best star cards, in my opinion, to use with this are survivalist, toughen up, and assault training. That way you have a heal on your class where you can heal yourself. You're getting some health back on kill. And also you have faster health regen. And those are all big pluses to me if you're playing very aggressive. And that is the way you need to play with this weapon. This is pretty much a submachine gun kind of disguised in the assault rifle class. And if you like to play fast and up close and personal, you definitely need to give the CR2 a try. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the weapon in the comments down below. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.